Head back. Hold on. For your safety, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the ride at all times. What's up, Dad's Vacations viewers? Welcome back to the channel. We are here today at my home park, Holiday Road and Splash and Safari, a little early this year. Today is the Platinum Pass Holder season preview for 2024. So super stoked to be here this year as my first time ever being a Platinum Pass Holder here at my home park. So super stoked today. And of course, you already know what we're doing today. You've seen the videos already on the channel. We're checking out Good Gravy, the park's new coaster. Family Boomerang here in 2024 for the park. So super stoked to be checking that out today and to see what else they are offering today for Platinum Pass holders. So we're gonna get inside and check things out. Here's a look at what the passes look like this year. Went ahead and just got mine printed off ahead of time. That way I didn't have to wait in any lines today to get mine printed. All right, we have officially made it through the front gate. Gonna go ahead and snag a park map here. Don't really do this every time I come, but these ones are pretty cool. They got good gravy on the front. I'm sure they'll probably keep this design going all year long. I'm definitely curious to see what all is going to be open today considering it is a pass holder preview event. Uh, I've never been to one of these before, so I don't, you know, I don't know if every ride is going to be open. I know good gravy will be for sure, so we'll see. Kind of making my way through the 4th of July section here right now. And we've made it over here as far as we can go in the 4th of July section for the park's rope drop. We're about five minutes or so away from uh, 10, which is what time the park opens. All right, they've officially dropped the rope, so we are heading down towards Thanksgiving section now. And there it is, Voyage, making a test run here. First time seeing the ride this year. Can't wait to get on that either. But you know where we're heading first. There you see Thunderbird in the back going as well. Good gravy, gotta get that out of the way. Looks like Voyage is running two trains. One is going up the lift as the other has completed its cycle now. All right, here we are, first look at Good Gravy. Obviously, first time seeing the uh, full coaster put together. Um, and operating as well. Uh, times when we were here last year, obviously they went through all the construction phases and all that good stuff. So it's awesome to see the, the final work in action today. Cool little sign there. And the uh, renovations to the old Pilgrim's Plunge um, housing look pretty good for this coaster. All right, they got a test seat out here as well. And of course, enter into grandma's house here. Wow. Got a bathroom, a bedroom over here. The theming in this queue is really neat. We've got the kitchen and the dining room over here. And they have like different sound effects of like plates dropping and different stuff. So that's a really cool touch different gravy boats over here on display in these display cases. All right, here we are in the main portion of the station. Uh, the train just left for a cycle. Uh, doesn't look as impressive in here as in the queue, but it doesn't look bad either. Here it is returning. All right, guys just got off my first ride on good gravy oh my word such a fun family coaster a lot more fun than i was anticipating it to be um 
Got to ride with a good guy named John. He said he watches my videos, so shout out to you, John, if you're watching. Uh, but anyway, yes, your whole entire family is going to love this coaster. So much fun, great addition here to the park and to the Thanksgiving section. So check it out when you get here to Holiday World. Good gravy. I think even though this is not like a intense coaster, my favorite part of the ride was probably this little tiny uh, airtime hill right here by the uh, rolling pin. There was a tad bit of airtime, a little more than I was expecting. So uh, that was a nice surprise. Um, overall, you know, this is a family coaster, so it is not going to be super intense. Uh, I did sit in the back, so I didn't really get any airtime on the spike. Um, I'm sure you do if you get in the front. So I would try to get on the front uh, later. They were assigning you seats, so we'll see if I can get assigned to the front um, on another ride here later on. The area around the ride is really nice too. The landscaping, and then they have some benches as well as a uh, playground for the kids to play at. So this area looks really nice. I did it up really well. Here's a closer look at the uh, playground for the uh, little ones who maybe don't want to ride or maybe they do want to ride and just have a little fun over here on the playground afterward. And of course, here in the yard area, you got the ginormous kitchen supplies, this big old rolling pin. You got a whisk over there, all kinds of stuff over here. Really cool touches to the theming. We've got even more seating back here um, towards the spike uh, as well. This looks like some type of a food cart back here. So a lot of seating and uh, areas over here where you can wait while people are riding. All right, that's probably gonna be it for now for good gravy. We'll definitely come back here later on uh, before we head out today. This uh, preview event's going on from 10 to five, so we have plenty of time today. Uh, so we're gonna go maybe check out Thunderbird now. All right, we are almost back to Thunderbird. Here, getting ready to launch here. Yes, sir, there it is. All right, first ride on Thunderbird for the year see how this ride is running here super early in the season all right we got free rain empty station here so we're going row one they're gonna be sending this train empty assumably due to the crowd volume right now not that many people here so um, kind of pointless to just keep sending empty trains when they can just go down to one train ops First ride of the year on Thunderbird complete. Not too bad, running pretty solid uh, for the early part of the season. A little shaky, but um, overall pretty good. Obviously b and one of the best manufacturers, one of the most solid manufacturers. So Thunderbird always, always a fun ride. All right, first ride on Voyage coming up next. Best wooden roller coaster in the entire world pretty empty station for Voyage as well, so we're just gonna go directly to the back row. Thunderbird did go down to one train, but Voyage is still running two trains. The other one is finishing its cycle right now. First ride, voyage for the year done. Man, coaster's just so relentless. I, I just don't see how there's any other better wooden coaster in the country or in the world. But I'm excited. Later on this summer, I am going to Six Flags Great Adventure for the first time to check out El Toro to see how it compares to Voyage. And a lot of people 
have those two El Toro and Voyage up at the top of their list as far as moving coasters go. If you're looking for good gravy merch, you can find some here in the Voyage gift shop. I don't recall seeing a uh, good gravy merch area over by the coaster. I'll double check again when I go back over there. But um, if not, you can find it here inside of the Voyage gift shop. All right, we're gonna take it easy, kind of take a break from coasters real quick and ride one of my favorite little family rides here, Gobbler Getaway. All right, y'all, now that we're done with Gobbler Getaway, which was a fun ride, fun little activity, competition as always, gonna be going to one of my all-time favorite theme park restaurants, Plymouth Rock Cafe, here at Holiday World. If you've never been to Holiday World before, right here, kind of where the Halloween meets the 4th of July section, this is where you can find one of the few entrances over here to Splash and Safari. Uh, it is not open right now for the Plat Pass Holder uh, preview event, but it does open here in a couple of weeks. So, um, just for a fun fact, you can just enter right into the water park right here, or there is another entrance over by the Voyage, and there's another um, kind of little shortcut you can get to when you come around this curb here too as well. All right, here we are at Legends, one of the great, fantastic Woodies here. Gonna see what's going on with this coaster today. All right, guys, first ride on Legend for the year. Running pretty solid so far um, early in this season. Great laterals as always, airtime is great. I sat towards the middle of the train. Um, super fun ride. I mean, they they cut this one down to one train as well, uh, just like Thunderbird. I imagine they may do the same with Voyage because when I got on Voyage, there was nobody in line. So shout out to Holiday, Holiday World though for um, starting the day off with the two train of Ox. And right after Legend, swinging over here to check out Raven. The park's first wooden roller coaster, the baby of the three big woodies here. I want to reference John, the guy who I rode Good Gravy with earlier. He said he's been a season pass holder at Holiday World since they opened the Raven, which was in 95, either 95 or 97, I can't remember. Alright guys, ride on the Raven complete. That was my first time in a long time, very long time, getting a front row ride on Raven. Uh, it's pretty solid, it's pretty tamed, honestly. Uh, the coaster wasn't running as, I guess, intensely as I assumed it would be. Um, obviously, probably because it is the very beginning of the season. So I expect it to get faster and a little more intense and have better pace uh, as the year goes on. One of the great things about Holiday Road is their annual drone show that they've been doing the last few years. Holidays in the Sky begins June 22nd through August 4th. And I believe if you are a season pass holder, you can get a preview of that on June 21st. So definitely going to be heading out here for that this year. And uh, just so you guys know, these are the dates for this year, June 22nd through August 4th. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my amazing day here at the 2024 Holiday Road Platinum Season Pass Holder Preview event. Super excited. Got to check out Good Gravy today. Awesome family coaster. You guys are going to love it when you get out here and check it out this season. Um, overall, the park, it's kind of, these events are kind of like a little trial run for all the employees to kind of get their feet under them um, for when the season actually starts. So they had more open today than I thought was going to be open. It was almost like a, you know, actual operations day. So really fun, awesome, impressed with Holiday World today um, for my first ever pass holder event. So definitely going to be back a lot this summer. So if you guys see me out in the park, uh, say hi to me, say what's up. We'll go ride good gravy together or something. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned for some more content coming up here pretty soon. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks. See you guys. Dad Coaster Company.